Hello everybody, good morning. Can you believe it's the start of another week already? I just can't quite believe it. I feel like the weeks are just zooming by. We only have one more week left now and then it's going to be half term, hooray! Um, I want to start this week our little welcome message um, just by saying a really, really big heartfelt thank you to all of the grown-ups um, who are supporting our nursery children so brilliantly at home. Um, it's such an incredibly difficult time for everybody, we know that, and we know that some of you are really, you've got a lot on your plate. You're doing a brilliant job and we appreciate the support that you are giving the children. We appreciate it so much. So first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you and a well done to you all. You're all doing great. And you're almost there. It's almost half term and then you get to have a week off. So um, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Keep going. Um, so even though this is our last week before half term, we've still got a fairly busy week. So um, we've got lots of really, really fun things uh, to do this week. So um, you'll notice at the beginning, of, at the uh, start of the newsletter, it does say that there's a Zoom meeting this week. Um, so this is something that is new starting from this week and it's going to be weekly for as long as uh, schools are closed. So on Wednesday at 11am, we're going to have our Zoom meeting. The children can join. It's a chance for them to see their classmates face to face um, face to face on screen you know what I mean and um, a chance for them to see each other they can um they can have a, a chat I'm sure most of them will probably be quite shy um to begin with um but yeah it's a little uh, chance for us to have a little chat with them and then we're going to read a story um so just so you know it's not a place for parents to um ask us anything if you have any questions or you want to ask us anything, please do that by phone or by email. So the Zoom call is for the children. So um, hopefully we'll see you there at 11. Um, as well as that this week, um, Phonics, we should have quite a good bank now of videos and ideas that we've sent through to you for phase one Phonics. Mrs. Good has done another good video this week. She's got her chef's hat on and she is making some more silly soup. So please um, watch that video and join in. Um, for maths, um, we haven't done a, a specific video. What I've done is I've sent you a link to some different online maths games that your children could play at home. In nursery, maths is very much about number recognition and counting and really um, getting those, uh, those numbers um, learned. So it's really about just constant practice at every opportunity so just counting you know recognizing numbers in your day-to-day -day life and um, so board games counting songs things like that playing games i know you're already doing loads of those so if we could carry on with that this week that would be fantastic um also this week um we have the opportunity to go on a dragon hunt with Mrs. Park, which is very exciting. You can watch her video and join in with that. Um, there's a video of me reading this book, Dragon Post. A very exciting book about a little boy with a pet dragon and he sends lots of letters. Then there is a letter writing challenge for you to um, make a, a letter or a picture and send it in the post. Um, also this week we have a story called Marmaduke the very different dragon now this is a lovely story with some suggested activities to go with it all around um, expressing yourself and being your true to yourself being yourself um, that's a really lovely story if you have time to look at that um, there is a song to learn this week as well, the We Are Dragons song um, that you can learn with myself and Mrs. Parr. Um, I've done another disco video for those of you who enjoyed boogieing with me last week. Uh, this week, instead of the phonics disco, it's 
the Play-Doh Disco because we love Play-Doh Disco in nursery, don't we? So I've done a video of that. So get your Play-Doh at the ready and uh, join me, do your funky moves and you can teach your grown-ups how to do the Play-Doh Disco too. Um, as well as that, we've also put together a list of PE activities that you can do at home, some nice simple games that don't need lots of equipment or anything like that, some really fun things that you can do at home to um, get yourselves moving and to be more physical. There's a video that's been put up online about the egg mystery. Oh, the egg mystery, I think it's going to be solved this week. So you best watch that to find out about it. Um, Mrs. Good has done a lovely story called The Knight Who Wouldn't Fight. Um, and she's also done a great craft um, demonstration of how to make some binoculars. Oh, I thought them the wrong way around. Binoculars for going on your <gasps> dragon hunt. You can use your binoculars to look for dragons near your house. I wonder if you'll find any. Um, and then lastly, I've done a bedtime story for you. So you can get into your pyjamas and have a bedtime story with me one evening. Um, so yes, a very busy week. Please do keep sending in all of your fantastic work that you're doing at home. We love getting it. Um, and when you come back to nursery, there will be pictures up on the wall of what you've been doing at home. because We're keeping all the pictures and we're printing them out. So have a wonderful week, everybody. Carry on with all the wonderful stuff that you're doing. And we are keeping our fingers crossed that it won't be too much longer before you are back here in school, in nursery with us. Because it is not the same without you. We miss you, we really do. And we can't wait for us all to be back together again. Have a lovely week. Good behaviour, remember. Listen to your grown-ups. <laughs> um, and try your best. Sending you all lots of love. Bye-bye.